beginning of my week was wonderful. I drove up to Boston and Jared Tachi and I hung out. I got to see his shop and see his dog Glacier. And he toured my van and then we went up to New Hampshire and I met Nick from Exploration Vans and his shop. I got to see some vans that were literal beasts, just gigantic. It was really great. But then on Sunday morning, I got a phone call that absolutely crushed me. And I don't even know how to put it into words even now. And I can't say what happened because it's not my story to tell, but a close friend of mine is going through something that's devastatingly heartbreaking. And I was going to skip vlogging because I just have been crying once an hour, but I felt like it was important to show the good days and the bad days. And the reality is when you're constantly traveling, you aren't always gonna be able to be close to family and friends when you need each other most. And being alone during what was one of the most heartbreaking days of my life made it only so much harder. So I decided that vlogging was actually the best for me to do today because then I could be with all of you. And besides, I definitely didn't want to miss out on trying to stealth camp the Boston Common. So the street I wanted is completely packed, which is not good. Um, but we're just going to kind of drive around for a little bit and see what we can find. I'm actually not sure if this is going to work or not because a lot of them have really strict hours, have resident parking, and um, yeah, I mean, We'll, we'll see, I'm just gonna keep trying, but I've been trying for a little bit now. So first off, yes, I absolutely do need to clean my windows. But anyway, um, that's the Boston Common right there. I could park all the way up there right on the corner, but parking on the corner feels like a good way to someone like to hit your car when they're taking a sharp corner, especially at night. Um, so I'm gonna stay back here, just kind of for safety. I, I do wanna park right on the Common, but it just seems dumb just to be like, yeah, I parked on the Common just to rest my van that way, obviously. So that's the comment. That's a cute little horse. We're gonna call him Maximus. And I think that's Frederick Douglass. I think, I'm gonna look it up later. And this cool building. Technically it's not my view because I'm about to put up all my window covers and I'll see nothing, which is pretty funny to me because it's like, it doesn't matter where I am in the world. It all looks the same because it all looks like the inside of my van. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that was that was pretty successful. I think that was about nine minutes once I hit the spot that I'd put in my GPS to just drive around and find a spot, which is pretty much where I wanted. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, I feel like I feel like we should start like a game on every video when I stealth camp um, and time how long it takes me to find a spot. So we're gonna guess nine minutes this time, and next time we're gonna try to beat that. All right, we have a new game, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm gonna have a timer next time. It's gonna be very eventful. Um, I look forward to it already. <laughs> so I think I might have gotten a really, really good spot. And it's in front of a restaurant, so like who's gonna break into a car while people are watching you while they eat? So we'll see. It is on a, a road, so it might be loud when I sleep. But I am used to that. Like that is, that's nothing. So actually, I lied. I'm actually gonna get out of the car and check for the signage real quick, um, just to make sure, cause your girl does not have enough money for a ticket. Um, so I'm just gonna walk around real quick, get back in, try to really blend in. Maybe I'll change sweatshirts. I took a shower and that's why I changed. I didn't, I didn't video any of that. I just took the piece as it was. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. Check signage real quick, come back in, draw no attention. I don't know if you caught that or not, but this spot is street cleaning, 2 a.m. to 7 a.m and it is almost 2 a.m. So I just I just had gotten in my mind that I could settle down and like go to sleep and that's what sucks about this. But it's fine, I know where I'm gonna go next and if it's still open, so we gotta move. We gotta move now. If they hadn't parked like horrible people, this would be the perfect spot. But I can't fit because they literally decided to take up two parking spots. What would compel a person to park so horribly? This is gonna be harder than I thought it was. It's the worst when you think you find a spot. Uh, we, we're restarting the timer. We're going again. All right, all right, we're going again. We are not at nine minutes. The time is back on, guys. I'll just not sleep on the common, which will be a little sad. She gotta do what she gotta do, you know? Moment of truth, I'm backing up to read this parking sign. No parking here to corner. Toe zone, 8 a.m. Can I just pull that sticker off? Should I just make a sticker that says reserved for Tori DeLore and just stick it on there? Because if we're just making stickers and sticking them on signs now, like, you know what makes that sticker official? I'm just asking. 
So this spot is good up until 4 p.m. That's plenty of time for me to go places. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I have a whole list of exciting things. Maybe Fenway Park, maybe for a baseball game. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I'm going to do. But I'm going to go actually for real this time, shut down for the night. I'm exhausted, but thank you for hanging out with me. Um, thank you for like making this YouTube channel a thing because like right now, genuinely, like heart to heart, like this is helping me a lot. Like I haven't thought about the thing that's been like just really making me, I mean, I've cried. I cried on the ride here. I cried a little bit. Like, it's helping me a lot be able to distract myself from something that I can't control and that's really helpful. So we're going to do our best and I appreciate you guys being here for the ride. I just set an alarm for 8 a.m. to have my alarm go off so I can pay for parking. Um, so that's all set and good to go. And then I didn't take off my makeup because I just, you know, I figured I cried half of it off anyway today. Um, I have my safety tools sitting out on the counter, my car keys. I'm gonna blow out the candle and call it a night, I think. Hopefully get some good rest so that we can have a good day tomorrow. Good night. morning it is 10 30 so it's not really morning anymore um i usually am pretty good at getting out of bed in the morning to go travel when i have plans especially when i have like as tight of plans as i had for today but i just it's hard man some days are hard and i just put the heater on so my fingers are little icicles at the moment um <laughs> but i am gonna get up and i am gonna try to go travel and we're gonna go we're gonna go make today a good day Right, very important decision. Um, llamas with hats or lemon grab. Also, lemon grab's other earring, you really smell like dog buns. So, or should I just do one of each and be completely unhinged today? We're being unhinged today. I keep going to do something and then just get like overwhelming crushes of sadness. And then I just like sit here for a while and think about it and then I try, I'm trying really hard, so we really just gotta get out of the van, we really just gotta get somewhere. I'm gonna turn off the heater, I almost forgot, honestly, so that wouldn't be great. But I just, I feel it so deeply inside of me, just like the overwhelming depression and like the weight, and I just, I don't know what else to do besides to distract myself, so let's go get some tea in Boston, right? That sounds like a good time.
this in a nutshell sums up how my week is going. So I put the wrong license plate number in and instead of double paying, I thought I could just leave a note on my car saying what license plate I put in. But apparently the note wasn't obvious enough because I still got a ticket. But honestly, $40 is not that far off from what I would have paid in a garage for a whole day and a half. And then I figured since I had a ticket, I could just chill in the van there longer without paying because I was already there. But eventually I did leave just to go visit Jamaica Pond, which was a great decision because it was free to park and I could stay overnight. So I got a much, much better spot. And I got to take a lovely evening stroll before it started to rain. So I can't believe that I found such a good spot to go to sleep tonight. Um, I'm really excited. Tomorrow morning, opening the door, making breakfast is going to be so nice with this view. But right now it's raining, so I don't really get much of anything outside. I just feel like I'm in this box, which is, which is fine. I love it in here. This is like my little fort. But thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with me today. I It really genuinely helped me to have this kind of outlet in a really hard time for me emotionally. And I feel like it helped me a lot. Um, so thank you for hanging out with me and for, you know, supporting me in van life and these travels and these videos. Um, I really appreciate it and I am so excited to show you what's next because I have an idea. And if you're wondering, I am still selling my van. It's been up for sale for about two weeks. I just really cut the price, um, but no one's really reached out to me about it. Um, so I am just kind of still living. I'm still doing my thing. Um, and I might go on a big adventure while I wait because I, part of me like wanted to really rush selling the van and getting a new one, but I think I'm just going to enjoy having my van while I have it because once I start a new van build, that's going to be my life for a few months. So I think I might go on a big adventure. We'll see. Stay tuned.